Somebody broke the internet! We're on location at the Extreme Couture Training Facility in Etobicoke, Ontario for a very special event leading up to MMA The Reckoning happening at Casino Rama on Saturday, April the 2nd. Uh, a one-on-one -on -one interview coming up in just a second with Big John McCarthy, worldwide renowned referee from uh, all kinds of different mixed martial arts outfits. Uh, he's been around the world and uh, so we're going to chat with him about some of the stuff that was going on here today at the facility. He gave a training seminar talking about the ins and outs of refereeing and talking about the certain things that fans miss when they watch the fights that referees do in the ring uh, usually for the the, uh, the fighters benefit but uh, also uh, for the excitement of the fans as well so we'll chat with him in just a second let's take a look at some of the uh, stuff he did in the seminar today you know refereeing has really not been uh, it's always a concern in anything and it's I think it's the same as you know I look at it it's like the NFL you know, when you're looking at the NFL, they're always doing things to make sure that their officials are doing things at a high percentage rate of calling things right, doing things the right way, and making it as fair for the, the people who are playing the sport, which, which in essence makes it fair for their fans. And that's the same thing that we're looking for in MMA. We're looking for officials to do things in a consistent manner. No matter what you hear from anyone, PJ Penn said it best. Thinking someone that has side control on you, and you watch George St. Pierre when he fought BJ, get to this exact position, and BJ will tell you, guy gets in side control on you, he has broken into your home and he's stealing you blind, you better get out of it. Brock has got quite a few you can go to, you can spin around for D bars, you can do shoulder attacks, and he has great reach as far as if he's gonna punch. He postures up, Misha. Put your hand out towards Brock's chin. Brock's gonna put his towards it. Look at the difference that we have. It's a giant advantage. These are positions we don't take people out of because now I'm making an unfair fight. Where his hands are right now? For Brock, that's what we call a seatbelt. Hooks in, he's gonna have his hands with an over under on the arm, around the head. That's inactivity. This is a guy who's stalling. He's stalling too because he's saying, I'm not getting choked, this is great. But Brock is stalling right now, where he's trying to move himself to a better position on centering himself with Misha's back. This was a position that Randy Couture, the guy who's got his name on this gym, being Brock, had Tim Sylvie in. Had it in for about 4 minutes and 15 seconds of a show I did in Columbus, Ohio. And you, I finally had people say, stand him up. Tim Sylvia looks to me and says, come on, John, he's not doing anything. My response to Tim was, neither of you. Get yourself out. All right, this is Blizzard.com, and we are hanging out with Big John McCarthy, uh, world-renowned referee uh, from many, many promotions all over the world, and listening to you doing the referee seminar today, dude, you've got a memory that is unbelievable. You remember who fought who, when, and what city. It's amazing. How do you keep all that stuff in your head? Uh, you know, I, I always remember the things that do nothing for me in life, so <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just able to remember fights and what happened. Uh, well, you're part of the very, very first MMA event here in Ontario. It's been a long time coming, and uh, uh, it's happening this Saturday night at, uh, at Casino Rama, MMA The Reckoning. And how important is it for you to be part of the very first one? It's, it's kind of a proud feeling, it must be. Well, it's an honor that I'm able to come here to you know the Ontario and be able to be part of it. You know, do they need me? I'm not saying they need me as far as you know. They could get a lot of guys that have a lot of experience. It'd be very good doing the same thing. But I'm honored that you know Ken Hayashi actually gave me the opportunity to come here and to work. You know, a show that is a long time coming, and you know it's it's a good thing and it's great for the province. It's uh, something that, you know, there's a ton of fighters here. There's a ton of people that now are going to be able to fight in their home province or work in their home province with the sport of MMA that, you know, it's only going to enhance this area and enhance the combative sports here. Today you did a little bit of a seminar kind of showing some of the ins and outs of refereeing and the perspective of the referee is totally different from a fan or from a fighter. A lot of people getting into the sport for the fighting aspect of it, but um, is there is there a push from people to become referees in mixed martial arts? Oh, absolutely. There's uh, there's all kinds of people that are, you know, going and taking classes or trying to work with you know officials that are working right now or commissions and getting their you know their foot in the door with the commission because they want to be part of the sport and that's great. You know, that's that's the way it's done. The big thing that I say is you know if that's you know the person you want to be, then understand what your role is. Understand what you need to know keep working at being knowledgeable and everything that you need to know if you're not going to be an official in this sport 
I'm not saying that you should be a person that has to be able to pull off everything the fighter's doing, but you should absolutely know the exact technique that they're doing. You should know where that technique can lead. You should know what the defense is. These are the things that you as an official need to know because you need to know, is that being applied right? Is it going to be able to finish the fight? You might want to get closer because there could be the end of the fight. If it's not being applied right and you know that can't work that way, then you're not going to be coming down into the fight. And you're not going to be getting yourself close because you know it's not going to work. And so those are the things that have to be done by officials. They have to have a knowledge of what's going on and is it being done correctly. And, you know, just be patient. It's not – everyone wants to do something and they think, oh, it's easy. We watch it on TV and they, they sit there at their, on their couch and say, oh, I could do that. And then they get in the ring with fighters and they have to be the one calling, eh, it's a little bit different than they think. And, you know, then you add the, you know, a big show and you put the, big, the crowd with the pressure. There's a lot of pressure that goes with there. You have a lot of responsibilities. But, you know, that doesn't mean that, you know, the person out there can't do it. Just go about doing steps the right way. Go through their commission. Talk to, you know, if it's here in Ontario, Ken Hayashi is going to be the executive director. That's the guy that you're going to want to get in contact with and ask him what you need to do to start working your way into becoming an official here in Ontario. So it's not as easy as just coming up with a really cool catchphrase then. <laughs> no, it's not quite that easy. Yeah, the, the, the old catchphrase thing is, uh, that's probably the last thing you need. <laughs> Very nice. Well, uh, so the big event happening this Saturday night, uh, what do you expect from, uh, from the very first MMA show, The Reckoning, at Casino Rama uh, in Ontario? What do you think? I think it's going to be a very, if you look at the card, there's some really good fighters on it. You know, they're starting the fight off, I guess, they're giving Chris Hordesky the very first fight, cool. uh, you know, sanctioned in the, in the uh, province, which is kind of cool when you think about it. You know, Chris is a veteran of a lot of fights, really good fighter, you know, and uh, comes from this area, and it's going to be neat that he gets the first fight. And if you go to the, the last fight, you know, you've got Jordan Mean, who's from the Alberta province, and he's going against uh, Josh Berkman, who's from Salt Lake City in the States. And, you know, great wrestler, tough guy. And Jordan Mean is a guy that I've been watching since he was 15 fight, you know, fight men. And he is now a man himself, and he is something special. He has only gotten better, and he's going to be the guy. You're going to be seeing him in the UFC. He is that good, and it's going to be a great fight between the two. So I guess uh, this is just part of the explosion. This is, this is the beginning. It's the way it's supposed to be. And, you know, they're putting on a really quality show for the very first card here and people are going to be able to see that you know even if it's not the UFC which is you know the biggest fights there are out there the guys that are not maybe not in it or have been there still put on phenomenal fights and fights that you're going to want to see because there's all kinds of fights that are going on out there that are absolutely some of the best fights going on it's not always the UFC the UFC would love to have the best fights every time and wish they could sometimes they have those fights but many times it's, you know, the smaller promotions that have that one fight that goes off that you should have seen because it was special. Hey, John McCarthy, thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. All right. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster.ca. You can check out the big event this Saturday night. MMA, The Reckoning, happening at Casino Rama. We'll be there, so we'll have some exclusive stuff on Blizzard.com and, of course, Kiss925.com. So we will see you at the fights. Blizzard.com.